Robert Ducky here. Welcome to episode 13 of the German Campaign in Close Combat 3. If you're new to the channel or you're not yet subscribed, then take a moment and click the subscribe button, like the video, and turn on notifications. I hope you're as excited as I am after a major turnaround in performance. Let's hope for more to come. All right, so where we left off, we had some major damage to our 88. So, oop, nope, not Quellus, to the 88. Off, off, there we go. Uh, we need to get the 88 refit, and everybody's getting tired, but at this moment, I don't have a good plan to rest people. So, right now, that's not currently my plan. We're just going to kind of leave them like that. But we still have 75 units and no spots available to put anyone. So, I am going to upgrade Moriarty. Um, I want to do an MG34. It's only three points, but... Uh, We've been having some trouble dealing with infantry, and so let's get a little bit more firepower in that way. We're also going to change his name, and he's now going to become Munat again. And then I think that's all we're going to make for this change right now. All right, so for our setup, we're going to do things a little bit differently. Um, they had a mortar last time, and they were able to home in on our AT guns. So I do think we're going to pull them back just a little bit. I don't want to go so far because I still don't think they're going to cross the minefield. But I don't want to be right up at the edge of the trees either. We're going to try and be a little bit deeper in the forest and see if that helps. I don't want the 88 to get wrecked for no reason. Um, I'm going to use this bunker here. We've got that open spot in the top. And hopefully the uh, recon squad up there can hide and not be spotted. And then... Maybe they'll get some better line of sight on any tanks that are maybe in the north part or in the trees. And hopefully also help spot infantry that might be hiding in the trench. So I don't know if that's going to work. I don't know if Waldo's just being hung out there to dry. But we're going to try it. Um, Costa, let's get you facing east. And let's see who else is up there. Jorge, there he is. So we'll get Jorge up top. Yeah, he's got good shots there. Uh, he's got less shots here. I don't know. I might still leave him. If I move him any further forward, we're going to run into the problem where we're still visible. So we're going to count on Costa to hold down the road. Jorge to cover the uh, hill. And then let's move Rambo down here. Let's get our rockets somewhere sort of secure. Quellus, um... You can see to the hill, but we don't want all of it. All right. So just that bottom part. And we do have to keep in mind a tank with vertical height is obviously going to be aiming from a different spot. And we'll see a different spot. But uh, for the most part, the trees are blocking the view. And that's what our obstruction is. So I think that helps us. Um, we've also got... Rambo kind of secured. We're just using Graph right here to sight for him. Uh, we're going to have an eastward shot from Graph, so that way he can hold down the center of the map. Uh, Munat, let's see. We got our machine gun team. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe right here on the front line somewhere. I kind of like right here in the building, but uh, they do spawn right next to us in the trench by the crossing. So he might be a little far out there. We'll look and see what that looks like. Let's get Bruner up here. Make sure both guns are covered by him. Mulligan, you need to be in the circle too. And you know what? Andy's Raiders, I think you're going to be in the circle as long as you're kind of hidden there. So Bruner is actually fairly hidden in there. Let's see, how does uh, Andy's Raiders look? Yeah, the forest is thick enough back there in the middle that I think that's a decent spot. If it's not, we'll know soon. All right, everybody's in there. And what about... Let's check on Moonot real, real quick and Waldo. Waldo's inside the bunker. Ooh, they only have yellow. One guy's got red. We may not be able to keep the machine gun team in that building just because of the um, the cover issue. So I'm wondering 
we could move them back up here, kind of near Costa. The The biggest place that we've seen infantry is like right at the very tip top of the map in the trench and then by the flag at the top of the middle section of the trench. So we want to have line of sight there, but I don't know if moving them up is going to be detrimental to what we can cover in uh, the flag area. So I think everybody's set. I don't think that we have any issues with them. The biggest concern here is that we just can't get them in the cover we need. Like now, now they're behind the building. Because it's bombed out, like there's just nowhere for them to hide inside of it. Red, that's even worse. Um, yeah. I think we just hide them here. That's better. And that'll hopefully keep heads down that are looking towards the 88. I want to say that I like the way everybody's set up. So let's get our battle ready. Okay. BT7. But he's got good cover. Oh, there we go. Costa. Destroyed first shot. Good shot, Costa. Good shot. All right, let's get these moved. I'm getting too used to them being in the top now, so that's like the only place I can have them. All right, we got two red dots here. There's one right here. And then there was one at the top, but they're disappeared right now. Um, good effect from the mortars. They're they're in a tight circle. They're just not hitting them inside the trench. We do have a decent amount of mortar shots, so we can keep pummeling them for a minute, see if we get anything. But if we do, you know, we don't want to use all of them from both. There we go. We got a tank rolling. Um, we don't want to use both mortars for the whole time. Oh, see, there we go. We did get a hit. Perfect. Ah, do we miss our shot? I think I missed the chance. We had like a tiny little window. Okay. Mortar's on the KV-1. Again, we don't care if we hit it, but I'm hoping that he'll move. I need him to drive like kind of any direction, to be honest, but just not sit right there. He does not care. Um... We got infantry up here. What is that? Machine gun team? Drop some mortars on that. And then... Maybe we're kind of going to have to use the machine gun on them. But if as soon as we open up, we might get mortars on us. And we do have the 88 kind of near the machine gun. So I don't want to give away that position yet. But we might have to just gun them. Alright, he's on the move. No, no. You know, I moved the the guns back and it might be a problem no oh we're close no those mortars are still going crazy up there all right hold off on that for a minute surely the AT gun down below graph maybe he can get some shots on these guys in a second mortars you guys run through that or at least stop where you're at still no shot okay oh we got shots fired what do we got oh Waldo Waldo's engaging the machine gun team well, I didn't want that. Nope, the one guy still won't turn. He's just going to keep shooting at him. Oh, we actually got a hit. Okay. And Jorge. Nope. Was that a team wipe? They want a truce. We got one tank and one guy and they want a truce. There we go. Graf, do your thing. Short. Drop some mortars on these guys. Ooh. Overshot. That's a good hit. No no damage, really, but good hit. Don't you shoot back. They're dropping mortars on us, too, I think. 
good hits, good hits. Rocket away. Good hits. All right, I can hear their mortar on my right. Somewhere, where is he? Still right. Maybe down here? Yeah, Mulligan's already low. Um, that's okay, but they're being weird with their tanks. Like, they've been cautious this whole time, but either something's wrong with the one that won't move, or they just know. Look at that shot. There you go, Graf. Um, or they know that if they move, we're just going to gun them down, and they're just not moving. So I don't, I don't know what the story is. Oh, that T-34 is giving us the rear. That would be so, so money. Uh, but yeah, they're not putting their tanks on the hill or in the open fields where we can hit them. They're, they're staying behind buildings and trees and stuff. I mean, serves me right. I tried to keep my units safer by moving them back, and it did that, but we can't actually engage them where they've decided to sit. So this one's kind of a bust i mean are they gonna are they gonna come up i don't think so and i'm still not equipped to go on the assault so we've got not good units we we could use the recon squad that's in the bunker to maybe scout up a little bit um munak could cover there's still nobody there but we almost we have to crawl up there before we go anywhere we have to make sure that we know that the trench is empty there. Uh, the last thing we need is them coming up behind us. Okay, we got somebody uh, routed. Nice hit. Or at least, there we go. Yeah, keep going. Drop some mortars on that and dr shoot some guns. Okay, everybody back on defend. Okay, who's coming down the hill? All right, we already pulled Waldo out, so I'm a little concerned because they are in the open. Doesn't seem like there's anybody left from that machine gun team. I think we got the whole thing. It looks like there's three bodies. I feel like there's three. I don't think we can... Oh, they got a tank now. Go back, go back. I was going to say, I don't think we can crawl right at them, but that answers that question. Costa, do what you can. No. Jorge can't do anything. Costa can't do anything. Um. Yeah, maybe, maybe. No. There we go. Send it. Nope, he's he's turning. We're gonna lose line of sight again. Keep shooting. Don't don't stop. Don't stop. Just shoot. All right, if we can get it back in there, we'll hide again. We got um, this T-34 that's down here. Rockets out. We're just gonna use all the rockets remaining on this guy. I don't know that we'll hit him, but that's probably our best shot down here. We can't get good line of sight on him without leaving all of the cover. And 100% he'll pick us off as soon as we start coming across that open field. Okay, you guys stay put. No. Rockets are so bad luck for me. I mean, they are like far off track. That one didn't even hit on the map. So hopefully as they level up, we'll get some better stuff. We need to get line of sight on the stuff we want to use the rockets on. And maybe if we can get that, we can get some closer shots. But uh, I am still nervous to bring them too close. Oh, there we go. Um, too close to the front. This one's just super open. I think different battlefields will be able to have different opportunities. All right, Costa, come on. 
Oh, the bunker's covering for him. Get inside. Where are you guys? Nope. Get inside. There we go. Nope. Come on. Jorge can't do it. Costa can't do it. That was a miss. I mean, we don't have to take the flags, but I feel like that's a key to getting points for our uh, for our score and stuff. So, like, given the opportunity, if we can put some pressure on them since we're towards the end of this operation, I don't want to risk people's lives, but, like, we, we do want to make something happen here and, you know, show that we can win this fight. I wish you guys would get in the bunker. It says they're green, like they are in the bunker, but they're not visually in the bunker. So let me know if those guys technically count as like full cover as if they were in the bunker. And there we go. Costa got his kill. He got the BT-7. All right. Another kill from Waldo. Maybe we can get one. Oh, nope. Not going to get one more. Uh, the tank crew did flee into the buildings. I'm not sure if they're leaving the map, but they did get into the buildings. Their mortars are coming in, and they are pretty accurate. Shoot, shoot. Ah. I see something right here. Infantry moving up. Light infantry squad. Yeah, they're shooting at us, but we, we can't get them to move into the building. We can't hit that. Uh, what else can we do? None of our guns. None of our guns can hit it. I'm really hoping that they run out of mortars soon so we can be free to crawl around. Okay, what do we got? Oh, just crew. Crew leaving. They're still asking for that truce, so... We may have to give it to them soon, but... If we can get anything to turn in this battle, I would like to either put the pressure on them, wipe them out, or maybe take some uh, some victory locations. Okay. Can we? No, we can't get that guy. I would love for those guys to get in the bunker. It's giving me anxiety. All right, if the mortar stops, we are going to have to move up there for that flag on uh, Hill 123. I'm going to reposition Costa just a smidge, see if that helps. We think we've done decent with their armor. The ones that they still have, we know that they're not dead, but the ones that they still have are not engaging. They're not active. So um, I feel comfortable moving Costa to the front just a smidge. It might take him a few minutes to get there, though. All right, let's smoke our approach and... Oh, like maybe a sniper? Perfect timing. Get that smoke out. Um, I was going to say, let's smoke our approach and the south flank of the hill. And that was a good call. So if these guys can make the assault on the sniper, they're going to have to be careful because they do have the uphill fight. And they might not be super pumped to be out here. But uh, if they can get the assault and get some shots off or throw a grenade, maybe even the sniper surrenders. But I think we like that fight. Oh, they're shooting at him. Well, there goes the element of surprise. But the three of them with submachine guns against the sniper at close range, I like their odds. Question is, will they make it? You can hear the mortar just start. Whoa. I was more worried about the sniper just opening up on him, but here come the mortars. All right, T-34. Nope. Quellis can't do anything. I swear, if we move him out, though, he's going to get popped by the T-34. Ooh, those mortars are getting dangerously close. Okay, opening up. 30 meters. They want a truce. We're just going to charge this guy, hopefully. Um, he'll throw some grenades or whatever. Okay. We're about to take the victory location. We either need him to... Oh, there we go. We need him to surrender. All right. We got that flag. So now I think we're going to have to move them down. Oh. There's... 
a KV1 here, and there's another one underneath the information that we haven't seen. This KV2. Maybe that's the one that I was looking at earlier, and that's where he parked, but um, those guys are in a bad spot for us. So let's smoke this whole uh, view of the hill, I guess. Alright. We lost sight of the tank down there. This guy's still here. Let's put some smoke right on him if we can. We only got a few rounds left. All right. Waldo. Oh, see, yep. They got infantry down there, too. That guy's fleeing, I guess. Um, if we can get into these buildings, we'll have a decent foothold on this side of the trench. From there, maybe we can figure something out. Ooh, they're shooting at us. From the tank, I guess, maybe? No! Ah, oh, Waldo. Okay, stay behind the buildings. It's not coming from the tank? I don't know. I guess there's just a machine gun team somewhere. Oh, it is that tank. I'm looking at the wrong tank. Don't listen to me. Costa has line of sight on him from his new spot, so his new spot's good. He just uh, doesn't have the, the power to do anything about it at that range with frontal armor. So, we're not looking super good. We are going to keep moving uh, Munat up. We're going to see if we can get the Southern Breach. And then we'll take control of the trench. If we need to sweep down it and wipe out infantry, we will. These are not great maneuver elements, so... We're kind of at the mercy of just what I've got. We've been playing very defensive, and, you know, it's going to show right here. We're trying to use an MG and a scout team to be our advance force, and that's maybe not the way to go. All right, they are getting close to the northern breach. Waldo made it to his waypoint. We're still getting hits, but we're not getting kills on that tank. Um, I'm almost certain we're not going to be able to kill it, but I'm just going to let him shoot every single round at it. Oh, he's shooting back. You guys, um, I don't know, crawl for it and get in the trench. I'm surprised that smoke isn't obscuring him. It's right there. We are at a point, too, where they keep asking for the truce. And we we have victory conditions, really. You know, like, they didn't push us back. So we can take the ceasefire. Um, I was just hoping for, like, a better outcome instead of just a minor victory. We might still end up with a minor victory because we haven't gotten their tanks. But if possible, if taking the flags and taking some terrain helps, then, like, we'll we'll try it. So we did capture two of the flags. We're going to move down here into the trench, I guess. And right now, while the tank doesn't see us, T-34 is moving up, though. Um, while the tank doesn't see us, we're hoping that maybe if there's anybody in the trench, we'll, we'll be able to wipe them out. I thought the T-34 would come up here because we took the flag. But you know what? I think we call a truce and see where this is because we're not about to advance on the tanks. No movement. So we did get the major victory. And the battle ended because we agreed to a ceasefire. Germans gained control of some victory locations. The operation ended because time expired. And we gained one campaign point. All of our training is beginning to pay off. So we have no killed. We have two wounded. And we killed two of their infantry uh, leaders. Killed one infantry regular. Wounded nine more. And destroyed two tanks. And damaged two tanks. So that's still a solid round for uh, us being on the defensive. And kind of only going out there with the scout team. So I like it. Operationally. We have 15 soldiers we lost, 17 who were wounded. We lost three tanks and one that was damaged. We killed 13 tanks and one gun and damaged 10 more tanks. So huge advantage to us. Um, nothing crazy here. It looks like Munot's getting some experience in morale. Uh, Waldo, unfortunately, had some really rough going there. We lost two men to incapacitation. And one that's hurt, so health is really poor. 
Uh, Quellus, your gunner who hasn't shot, is getting more morale, so good for him. Uh, Jorge Castillo did get an injury from the assistant leader, but morale's going up, and the loader is, like, pumped for this fight. He is ready. He's like, I'm going to send it every time. Rambo, somehow the driver who doesn't drive, got more experience not driving. Um, Costa, you've got everything kind of trending in the right direction. A little bit of morale increase, a little bit of leadership. Uh, looks like your gunner and loader are kind of responsible for that. And Mulligan, just one assistant getting a little bit of a morale boost. The loader, he needs a morale boost. He's He's not having a good day. Everybody trended in the right direction, other than the fact that we had casualties in a single recon squad. That was the only thing that affected us. Um, Kill-wise, we got some bravery with Munat. Uh, we've got Waldo with one kill, three braveries, and a cowardice. I, he wasn't cowardice. He was the last man standing. Uh, Jorge got two soldiers. Rambo got nothing. Andy's Raiders got two soldiers with the mortar, so that's nice. Graf got uh, one soldier. Costa got two tanks. Mulligan got one soldier. Yeah, I mean, it was a not numerically intensive fight. Let's see if we got any cool medals in here. Uh, everybody got a wound badge. Okay, not everybody, but, you know. Let's see. That's the only award we gave away. Hold on. War Merit. Costa got a War Merit. Sweet. And Mulligan, not a more merit. That is from the previous fight. So not a lot there. We have completed Operation 3. And we're going to be moving on to the next one in the upcoming video. Um, I was going to do it here. But I think it's best that we wrap this one up strong. And we start the new one when we can do a couple of battles to begin the whole operation all in one video. So I hope you're not disappointed. This doesn't mean we're not going to stick with that format. We're just going to stick with it uh, going forward in the next operation. If you're enjoying the content, then consider clicking the subscribe button. Leave a like. Uh, that helps so much as well. I love the support that you're all given, so keep tuning in. I'm figuring out a lot here, and I'm excited to keep stepping forward. It's not like this is going to be life-changing in a single battle but I am ready to start pushing on them in small amounts and see what I can get away with. So, thanks for watching. Rubber Ducky out.